What's up everybody? Ruben, Texas All Water Fishing out here today with my man Eric and we are out here in a very, very popular spot. What do you, what, what is this? Secret spot. What, what's the secret spot's name? The Lagoon. The famous Lagoon. <laughs> you know, and the crazy thing is, is that I've never fished here before. I haven't. Everybody that I tell, people like Eric, everybody that I tell that knows me and knows how much time I spend on the water, they can't believe that I never fished here before. Yeah, this is a place that everybody has. You gotta f try it one time. What, what do you normally catch here, Eric? Oh, reds. And we got a flounder. lot of mosquitoes. A lot of specks. Yeah, a lot of mosquitoes. A lot of specks, a lot of flounder. Today's a warmer day. It's December, but it's it's very warm. Probably close to 80, and we have all the mosquitoes in Galveston chasing us. Now, the thing that I would say about the lagoon that, that I noticed right off is the launch. I mean, it is you back up your truck and you slide your kayak in the water. And it's very protected because there's no boats out here. So a lot of times people say, hey, I don't know where to go. I'm new to kayaking. I'm new to the area. I would think that this would probably be one of the best spots for you because you don't have that boat traffic. If you're new to it, this is a, a perfect spot for you. The first couple of times, come try and get your feet wet. I know this is one of your go-to spots when yeah. you first started kayaking. Yeah, when I first started to get my feet wet to <laughs> learn what I'm doing. Man, these right mosquitoes are eating me up though. But hey, um, I'm going to cut this intro short. Eric and I, hopefully we want to put on some, get some fish, entertain you guys a little bit. Get our line wet. I haven't been in the kayak forever. I know Eric hasn't either, so it just feels good to be back out here. But thanks for watching. Um, thanks for coming back to the channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe, and we're gonna go. We're gonna start casting. Get out these mosquitoes. Get out the mosquitoes. <laughs> Something over here. A lot of bubbles right here. Heard something, saw something. As soon as I left the, the grass line because it's deeper. In the middle, it's about five foot, five and a half feet. So as soon as I left the grass line, something else came came out. But dang, these mosquitoes really make it hard to concentrate. <sighs> yeah, I think I just saw. Looks like a fin. Could be a flounder. Just missed that cast. The hook said ever. That's all right, you got it. Felt like a little flatty. <coughs> I can't get away from him. Of course, I am throwing gobs, so I kind of did that to myself. Little. Little guy right here, little chipper roof. First fish of the day though, we're not seeing anything. Not really seeing any action at all today, but nice little chip. Wow. Ticket, let's see. It's a little guy, might be a sand trout. Yeah, yeah a little sandy. He got off, quick release. We've been, finding, we've been kind of feeling that thump, 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 but nothing really wants to take it. That's the first official take something that really has just hit it beside that uh that flounder but we've been fishing for a little while now close to an hour yeah. and not not a slot yet but keep casting One thing I don't like about you, bro. hold on i got nope he's there he ain't there i'm trying to set my hook on these little guys they ripped my damn tail off yeah. i might have one <laughs> nope damn what happened Oh, dang it, little punk. I was pulling them. I could feel that little punk and I tried to set the hook right on the right on the surface. There we go. Sand trout finally. Got that little punk. Little sand trout. They're all over the place out here. They're just just everywhere, little sandies. Loving that pink though. 
That is a big old ribbon fish. Oh man, that is a nice ribbon fish too. <laughs> Dang, he ripped half my thing off. The worst is the eel. Huh? An eel. Oh yeah. I hate catching eels. There we go. Oh, he got off. Little guy. Yeah, the worst are eels because they, they'll wrap all up in your line. Like Dang, you little fools. Missing with me. <laughs> me Let me see. Hold it up. I'm coming in hot. I'm coming in hot. I'm coming in hot. I'm coming in hot. <laughs> so that's the second eel. Oh, uh, second eel. Talking about eels, that's the second imagine dragon. Ribbon fish. That he's caught here. Here's it is just it's n n nothing that nothing that I would have thought would be here is here. Um small flounder, which I thought would probably get a couple flounders. Sand trout. Really didn't expect to see any sand trout today. I really didn't. Um and and ribbon fish. So, but we're getting a lot of hits. There's a lot of strikes, a lot of sand trout, sand, sand trout strikes. They're not committing. They just hit, grab your bait and take off. So, getting a few of those. But <clears throat> I'm gonna keep casting. You know, it's still fun. It's still fun to fish. Really doing a lot of talking and fishing. I think Eric and I just visiting today. Really. But just a chill little spot, you know, to come out here. You know, the launch is down there, and it's just beat sitting, on your couch. beat sitting on your couch, you know. And it's just like it's just like you're fishing in just a big old lake, yep. you know, like a like a, a lake. like a saltwater lake. There's an opening that goes out to the ocean that pinches down over there, and and uh, tide is real low, so I think that's had to play with a lot of a lot of the uh, fish activity this morning. Is that uh the tiger got really good sucked out. out yeah, good time to try out your different lures, Eric just said. Yeah. You got the reds, the flounder, speckled trout. But ju I just thought I would see more activity on the grass line in the more shallower, just with it being a new moon. Uh, uh, close to a new moon. I think the new moon is actually official new moons tonight but it's still extremely dark overnight. Oh, there's one right here. A little sand trout, something. Oh, penny, pinfish. He got, he got bamboozle hooked underneath the head, underneath the mouth. He got bamboozled. He gone. Oh yeah, he's gonna be close to 14. Might be 15. Look out the jaw. Let me see, hold it up. Yeah, that's pretty sad we get excited over little guys like that <laughs> today. But hey, today's one of those days, man. Yeah. Grinding nothing. Nice trout too. Uh, flounder. Oh, okay. Little guy. Ugh. Little flounder. You about on the no, just just straight retrieving on bottom. Hey, no, Look at that. That's a uh, it's that wagtail voodoo. See, I wanted a heavier jig head, and uh, Eric had one, so just keep it on bottom. Where we're supposed to be. That's the three eighths. Yeah. Keeping it on bottom. Want my lure back though. Little baby, but man, it is slim pickings today, baby.
All right, everybody. So that's gonna do it. You know, Eric. He lost. He lost like what three fish? Lost three three nice, fish. We grinded hard, man. Three nice fish. I think Eric had maybe a couple of them might have might have squeaked out slot status. Mm -hmm. Um, not me. You know, I had nothing but little minis, a little small stuff. Kind of very slow. You know, I think the tide had something to do with it. The tide was completely dumped out this morning. Mm -hmm. It's starting to come back in now. It looks really good. It's pushing. You can see it over there. It's pushing pretty hard coming back in. So I think this afternoon is going to be a good good time to fish out here. But. But hey, you know what? We had a good time. We had fun. You know, if you sure. like the channel, if you like what you saw here, please hit a thumbs up, subscribe. Until next time, hopefully you catch me. Yes, sir.